This News Alert brought to you by Casarina All Sports Club. All your entertainment under one roof. Good evening, I'm Ellie Conway with your nine local news update. A woman is in hospital after she was allegedly stabbed multiple times by her former partner. Police arrested a man earlier today and it's expected charges will be laid. The 27-year-old was visiting friends in the Bagot community overnight when she was allegedly stabbed by her former partner. As she left the location, she was approached by a male who was previously known to her. Uh, he's come at her with a knife, uh, stabbed her a number of times before leaving the area. Detectives scoured the area this morning, finding several knives at the crime scene. Police tracked down a 32-year-old man in the Darwin CBD at around 1 o'clock this afternoon. One resident telling Nine News the man has lived in the community for years and was previously in a relationship with the victim. We believe he was actively avoiding police. We uh, attended a number of locations, um, conducted a number of follow-ups and speaking to the victim's uh, family and witnesses as well. Uh, and we tried to locate him um, however he remained outstanding until this afternoon. It's the second serious stabbing incident in the Bagot community in recent weeks. A 15-year-old teenager died last month after he was allegedly stabbed in an unrelated incident. Police say there's no evidence to suggest crime is increasing in the area. The man remains in police custody and is expected to be charged later tonight. Territory Alliance continues to call for the unnamed MLA mentioned in an ICAC report to come forward. It comes as Labor upped its attack on the new party over its backflip to ban fracking. Back to school to talk up renewables, but Labor were prepared to go on the attack, lining up Terry Mills for his fracking ban backflip. Terry Mills cannot be trusted. Terry Mills backflips and cannot be trusted. Deputy Leader Robin Lamley, who was also Deputy CLP Leader when power prices were increased, defended Mr Mills. It's a bit rich criticising the likes of Terry Mills for changing his mind when in fact you see it all the time. Fracking wasn't the only battleground today with speculation mounting as to who is the unnamed MLA dubbed AB, who was referenced in the damning ICAC report against Kezia Purick. Former CLP Treasurer Dave Tolner today made this allegation. I do you reckon Gary Egan's would be sweating bullets at the moment? There's a tip. Well, Ms Lamley has also demanded the person come forward. If AB is, um, has played a part in uh, corrupt conduct, then they need to reveal themselves. I don't know who it is. I think uh, it could be Gary Higgins, but Gary Higgins needs to front up and either confirm or deny it. Nine News in no way suggests that these allegations are true and Gary Higgins himself said in a statement he won't be commenting as legal proceedings are or may be underway and the use of pseudonyms was to protect witnesses and naming any could be an offence under the ICAC Act. Commissioner Ken Fleming released his own statement reinforcing there is no evidence the unnamed MLA participated in Ms Purick's activities and any speculation to the contrary is wrong. Michael Gunner told Parliament he will reveal by tomorrow whether to refer Ms Purick's conduct to the Privileges Committee. Kathleen Gazzola, Nine News.